the first drawings I made, I was about 11. My father was very supportive. I think that's how Toby is, too. My father even took me to uh, Berlin University, just took me there with one of my drawings. He asked him whether I was talented enough to continue in that career. So he was very eager to know uh, that he find that he had an artist in the family. And I didn't think anything of it one way or the other, I just kept drawing. Seventeen. She's 95 now. Her father was unhappy he here and uh, decided to move the family back to Germany in 1929. She was 12 when they got there and she went to high school there. They moved back in 33 for obvious reasons. When they came back, uh, my mother was sketching shoes. My grandfather, he would uh, take her her shoe designs around to the shoe companies and sell them for five dollars a piece. When she was 18, I Miller hired her and that began a 45 year career as a shoe designer. But at the same time she was working, she went to study at the Art Students League. She's an artist, she's a, she's a designer, and she's a businesswoman. And she was always well, all three. She, she even had her own shoe import business. So she designed, manufactured, and sold them. So she only painted on the weekends. She was a weekend painter. She's been painting full time, pretty much, since she was 93 or two. You don't live long enough to do all the things that you want to do, no matter how old you get. Do as much as you can. I don't usually make such detailed paintings. I, lately, I, I like to have three or four colors, and that's enough. But this one got very involved with mixed colors rather than just right out of the tube. So I get tired of doing one way, and then I have to switch to something else. It's almost like a child with a, with toys, I guess. These are my toys. I just want people to like them. They don't have to appreciate them in that sense of how they were done or what they are. Uh, just that they like them on the wall. How do you feel about having your first solo exhibition? I don't know. I, I can't get very excited about it because the excitement is doing the paintings. I'm happy it's being done. I'm reached an age where I didn't think any exhibition at all. I was I was a little bit far-fetched to do it so late. It wouldn't have made any difference in my work, whether I had one or didn't have one, because I was just happy to paint, and still am. No, I can stand, I can sit, it's open. So. Well, that's uh, New England. All those shoe factories were there. This is a par dinner party, and uh, there was one woman sitting all alone at the other end of the restaurant. And she kept looking over, and she had a bottle of wine, and she wasn't eating anything. She was must have been real upset because she wasn't invited to this party. I didn't know if she even knew the people. And what is this? That's a self-portrait from the early 40s. It's not bad. Not bad. And that's you You did of my father also at the same now. same time. These, these were very primitive uh, paintings. You think that's primitive? I look at them and I think, did I do those? <laughs> because I, I don't think I could. Yes, I guess I could. But I've forgotten how to even think along those lines. But, um, this is my oh. first painting. And it was seen in the subway, New York subway, and she's on her way to work. And I was very impressed with that 
beautiful, clean, white hat she wore. And I made a sketch, and when I got home, I painted it. So that's number one. Uh, you know, except to look back and then think, well, I should have done this, or I should have done that. There's always corrections you can make and improvements you can make. But I, I was particularly interested in the children. There's my mother and child, and then there's a the little prisoner on the bottom. I think that's my favorite picture. The little boy doesn't know what's going to happen next. Those are not for sale, both of them. Mostly I just hovered and worried. And uh, I pointed the lights at the, at the paintings, but they, they arranged the whole thing. They put all the little numbers on. They brought little red dots. Not yet. Wow. Did it open already? Is it open? Wow, it looks beautiful. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I didn't think they'd hang so beautifully. But there's lots and lots of colors. And he likes so much. exhibition of her work opening March 6th and we're going to be doing a retrospective because you know there's an incredible amount of work that she has done in the 40s, 50s, 60s, etc. Plus we'll do the new work. I hate to use the word talented but uh, it's obviously part of her world. Rather than just relying on work she had done before, she created a whole new series of work. And, and how inspiring that is uh, for, for people in, in creative businesses like, like myself. Uh, so 95 and, and, and still being able to be pro prolific is uh, really awesome. I do love and all of her paintings, particularly the ones that are figure paintings, is that there's an underlying psychology to the drama. That there's a completeness, I mean, in terms of the reward of what you're getting from the painting. I'm sure the word inspiring is probably overused, but I would actually use the word jealous. I'm a little jealous because I'm going to reach 95 and I want to grow up and be like Henrietta Picker. I think it was very successful, a uh, lively group uh, for an art opening. And so I think, I think uh, it's the beginning of a very distinguished career. <laughs>